Good afternoon, folks. This is Cmart009. Uh, I wanted to do a quick little video on a Raptor flip-up deck. I don't see many reviews out for these yet. Uh, this is the first model year, uh, 2016. Wanted to go over some things with them that you should really look out for if you decide to buy one. Uh, first off being, uh, it is a flip-up deck. They, <laughs> they are bound to have bugs in their first year of service. So let's go ahead and get started with the small stuff. Upon getting it, you may find that when your handles are in park position, which is this here, just pushed out, there's no external park brake, it's built into those handles you'll find that even though your handles are all the way out, you go to start your mower, no dice. Doesn't want to turn over anything. What ends up happening, let's see if I can get in here and let you guys see. Little gray box here. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, it's gonna be a little blurry, but that little gray box there is a safety switch. And you see if I open this, click, 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 click. What will happen in, from the factory is that these are pushed too far back. They're pushed towards the outside of the machine. Now, there's two screws in here. I believe they're seven or eight millimeter. They're little. Uh, a lot of times they're only finger tight. So if you're having problems with your safety switches not engaging, that'll be that. So check both of those. Make sure there's one on each side, one on the left, one on the right. Make sure that they're pushed this way towards the inside of the machine so that they engage perfectly. Another thing that can happen with these, if you can see, see that spring right here? Right there? Yeah, this right here? That'll be too loose. What we do here is we tighten them up as tight as they can go and then loosen them just a little bit. What that does is it creates tension on these handles, these control arms, when they go back and forth. What happens at the factory you see how it, this rests, this bar rests on that lip that sticks out right here? I know it's a little blurry, but this lip right here, see how that steps on that, stops right there? It's supposed to do that. If this spring is too loose, sometimes when people push these arms out like this, they push forward a little bit. And what'll happen is this bar for the control arm will slip past this edge, this lip that it's supposed to rest on. That's not good, because that in turn comes back down to the safety switches, which may be in the right position, but these will go farther. They'll overextend, so they won't be engaging the safety switches correctly. So, those are two safety switch compliant things that we have to go over. Another thing that your Hustler dealer should do is make sure that the belt guide update is on. Now if this will get, there we go, refocus. The belt guide update is under the deck, or it's on the deck, I should say. I don't know if we're gonna get a good video or a good picture here. But on the deck, we can see in there. All right, let this auto focus real quick. Well, anyways. I can get my hand under here. There's a black plate in the center over there. Regardless, the belt guide update, just bring it up with your dealer that you need to make sure that the belt guide update is on. It prevents the belts from slipping off. These have a bad habit of throwing belts from about the center of the deck. If you look right in the middle of the screen, there's a black plate. Hard, kind of hard to see from here, but it kind of looks like a Y or an elongated Y. Um, that needs to be installed. That's a big thing. Another problem that we have with these is that the pin isn't on correctly when you go to lift the deck. The pin here that goes through this hole, sometimes these holes aren't quite aligned where they go through. So it's hard to push it in one way, but not another way. So if it doesn't go in this way, try it from the opposite end. And that should solve your problem. 